right, so like this one time, it was the middle of the night. Like literally, it is after midnight. It is 12 o'clock at night, and I should be asleep right now, but I genuinely am not tired in the slightest. I am so awake. So I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to do the Chad strategy and film a video. And that's gonna be fun because this room is still unreasonably hot. Holy dingus. But it doesn't really matter because I feel like I've needed to review this blaster for long enough. I don't really have a skit or anything, but we're finally gonna get to the modulus long strike. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So the Modulus Long Strike, quite possibly one of the most underdeveloped Nerf snipers ever created. Seriously, this thing did not get enough attention for the longest time, because honestly, I think this is one of the best sniper rifles Nerf ever put out, if not the single best sniper ever. That's partially because of the obvious cosmetic choices, holy dingus does this blaster look good, but also because it was very confident in its ability. It only lacked in the performance department, everywhere else was nailed, and it's a really good bolt action sniper. Rifle. The bolt action was super smooth, the trigger was super snappy, and the magazine release was super enjoyable. However, this thing was ignored for a really, 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 really long time. And that's so depressing, because this blaster honestly deserved way more than it got. I dare say that it's better than the long shot. I obviously don't mean that in the way that you guys are thinking. I know how good the long shot is because of the internal structure and the fact that it has room for like the 4 billion mod kits that you can get for it. I mean in the sniper department, the long strike just does it so much better than the long shot. The long strike is sleek, aerodynamic, and beautiful. The long shot is big, clunky, and obnoxious. And I gotta tell you, when the first pictures of this thing came out, I said, it's about time. I've been waiting for this moment for years. And lo and behold, the modulus long strike. Probably my favorite sniper ever in the history of all of the universe. Let's get into this thing one step at a time at first by stripping down the abundance of things it comes with. So when you get a nerf modulus long strike, you get one nerf modulus long strike. You get a bolt that is now threaded so that you can put it on and take it off at will and is completely removable. Thanks Hasbro for getting rid of that stupid push pin tech thing, whatever that was. It gives you a really, really good bipod. Gives you a really, really good scope. It gives you the famously awesome long strike barrel. And it gives you not one, hold your breath, not two, keep it in, just a bit more, three magazines, three magazines that hold six rounds and have this epic pattern on it, half transparent, half white. Who okayed this? They're insane! Never in a million bajillion years did I think that Hasbro would ever do more than two mags. Two mags is a really big stretch and they only do that when they absolutely have to. No, three magazines, three of them. You've got to be kidding, I must be in a dream. But no, if that's the case, I've been dreaming since Christmas. But all of this stuff will get its own segment in the review as time comes on, don't you worry. Get to everything, gosh, there's so much stuff. Let me put the bolt back in, then we'll get started with the long strike itself. So yeah, if I put the barrel on right now, that's a bit cheating, but I remember how I said the long strike's appearance looked good. It still holds up. Oh man. Look at this thing, it's sexy. Look at this grill, like you would see on a real sniper rifle to push out air. It comes with this little foregrip with a sling built in and there's two more slings on it. Look, it's got like a little mock dial, like what you would see to adjust the scope on the back. It's got the plunger rod like tube thing where you would actually load ammunition in the back if it was a real sniper rifle. It just, Oh, it holds two magazines in the stock and they give you the three magazines to fill the blaster completely. All of the details, they just, oh, it's so good. And then heavens forbid I put this thing on because as soon as I do that, then it's just, yup, it's perfect. It, this is my favorite looking blaster ever. I, I just, it's, no. That's where you don't get to make it look this good. Look at the little grills on the front of the barrel. Look at the fact that it has an iron sight built in that just so happens to line up with the one on the back. Two tactical rails on the barrel, four in total because it gives you two more on the blaster. Hasbro, good grief. When you built this thing, you had the master of designers on board. Bring him back. 
Please! It's almost as if Hasbro used to care about what the designs of their blasters were. It's almost as if Hasbro actually put more than 10 cents into the creation of each blaster. Who would have thought? And to cleanse the hearts of the modding community out there, I've seen the internals of this and I've seen the internals of the original Long Strike. They are exactly the same. So any Long Strike kits that worked on the original will work on this one. T take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Now let's get on to the ergonomics. Do you see this grip? Do you see it? Do you see how, how nicely it is? Do you see how nice and angular and fluid it is? Do you see how it's at like a realistic angle that mimics the way the actual snipers work? Oh, it's so comfortable. Look at this trigger pull. Nice metal spring. Oh, look at the stock. It's a little bit short, but considering you hold the grip like this, it actually is the perfect pull. Oh, look at this foregrip. Look at this foregrip. This makes me mad. This blaster is made out of stuff. It's not just made out of nothing burgers like all of the current Nerf blasters. Why am I getting mad? This thing's just so good. This is why people thrift, Hasbro. The stuff that you made before is so much better than most of the stuff that you're putting out now. It's not even worth comparing to. Yes, the ergonomics on this are absolutely amazing. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. I have no complaints with them at all. So how does this blaster work? Well, you take a magazine or take one of the graciously included magazines out of the graciously included magazine holder in the graciously included stock, pull the bolt back, put the magazine in. It fights against you a little bit because of the angle of this thing. Pull the bolt forwards and then you can fire once. It doesn't have slam fire even though if it did, you probably wouldn't be able to put as many mod kits in it because slam fire just screws everything up. So I can live with that. Now let's bring in some of the attachments. This is a scope. This was the Modulus Long Range Scope, which has been fitted to the same kind of paint scheme as this blaster and looks absolutely perfect and absolutely glorious on this blaster. If it will actually fit on. There we go. Look at that. Already, that just looks so much better. Oh, but then it gets even better. Do you see this? This is arguably the best bipod that Nerf has ever made. It does the thing that the, uh, the Centurion bipod does well, having a thick, rigid exoskeleton that's very thick, very hard to screw this up, and nice, confirming, clicky bases so you can snap it either backwards or forwards. But it's also adjustable at three different points of adjustment. You can put it halfway, down, or all the way out. And I think it's great, even though these buttons stick a little bit. But yeah, that's that's great too. And then you put it on the front and okay, it kind of kills the appearance a little bit because it doesn't look even remotely as aerodynamic now. But it is functional and it works very well. If we take that off though, ah, no, that's better. And then if we put all of the magazines in, this is, oh my god. Ah, Hasbro. Ah, Hasbro. It's so good. I can't get over it. It's just so good. Well, it, it doesn't even feel right shooting at this thing. No, you know what? We need a better setup for this blaster. Hmm, all right. What can I shoot at? <gasps> the perfect target. Mm. All righty. The target is in sight. Now we deploy our tactical bipod. We can't be seen. That's no, too long. User TNR is in position. Two spare mags loaded. Aiming for the hit. I didn't put a magazine in, which will probably do that before I waste all my time. Get it! Once again, aiming for the hit. Miss. The nerf in the rack. Alright, up higher. Rendering the black one pieces. Oh, we got a direct hit. Two more shots. Hit the neck. That didn't even come close. Last shot. It hit the table. Alright, we got two more mags. Still got a chance. The bipod has come undone, but it is still holding on for some reason. We hit her close to the eye. We're oh, really gonna come home with this one. That didn't even come close. Oh, we hit her in the face. Yes. We hit her in the neck. That didn't even come close. Oh, we hit her in the neck again. I think that was it. Yeah. One more mag, then we go home. Almost. I hit her in the neck. I hit her in the neck again. Not even anywhere near. 
close. And hit her in the neck again. Is that it? Yeah. Let's go claim our prize. Aw, yeah. Check it out. Check out what we bagged today. <laughs> so, yeah. Opinion on the long strike? Overwhelmingly positive. A 12 out of 10. Actually, no, genuinely, 10 out of 10. I love this thing. I love it way too much. Way too much. It has some accuracy issues because of the long barrel that causes some barrel drag every now and then. The darts just kind of fart out not very far. But for the most part, I mean, yeah, it's, it's magnificent. This thing is absolutely magnificent and Nerf made it even more magnificent by upping the performance and giving us attachments that we wanted to see with it. And if my sniper guy hiding in a bush hunting a really big snake roleplay mode didn't mean anything to you, let me make it clear and simple. This is my favorite sniper of all time, period. And Nerf will never be able to top it. And I also now have an excuse to bring my Tessera plush into videos. So finally, you guys will be able to actually see my mascot outside of the thumbnail. But yeah, I highly recommend this blaster to anyone who likes sniper rifles at all, or even likes guns at all. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Please buy one of these. Please buy two of these. I can't afford to buy two of these, but I really wish I could because I would love to be able to 1v1 with these. That would be so much fun. But yeah, Modulus Long Strike, really good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.